Here we have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New York, and we need you guys to. So we need someone to scramble some S-16s or something up there to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not exercise, man. Uh, do we want to think about uh, scrambling aircraft? Oh God, I don't know. Uh, that's a decision somebody's going to have to make probably in the next ten minutes. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Jim, I, I don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or to be more specific. Some people said they saw, they saw a missile. There was definitely a blue logo, it was like a circular logo on the front of the plane. Um, it definitely did not look like a commercial plane, I didn't see any windows on the side. Mark, if what you say is true, those could be cargo planes. You said you didn't see any windows in the side? I didn't see any windows on the side. It was, it, it was not a normal flight that I've ever seen at an airport. It was a plane that had a blue uh, logo on the front and it just it did not look like it belonged in this area. It's just sort of a, uh, a herd mentality, a lemming-like mentality. If you don't go with the flow, you're anti-American, therefore a suspect. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! Something like that happens. Well, who stands to benefit? You know, who had the opportunity and the motive? You just kind of look at these basic things. I don't assume that, that I know the truth about what uh, went on that day. And yeah, I just look around and looking for well, who had the motive, who had the opportunity, who had the uh, equipment, who had the uh, and the will. White House and then, you know, campaigns, and I, I don't enough for the people who do these things to know that the public version of the news, what an event, is never really what happened. And these people, I think, are willing to take that even further. It seems a very long bow to me, but are, are you sort of suggesting that, that this worked in the favour of the Bush administration? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 